And finally, in a garden filled with sunshine, we greeted the man we had come so far to see. The man whose writings had lifted our hearts and given us hope for the future took the stage, humbly accepting our affection and warming us with that unforgettable smile. It is difficult to describe the kindness, the goodness, the light shining from his eyes. Distinguished panel, distinguished press, ladies and gentlemen. I represent 234 Canadians today who are part of one of the greatest spiritual movements this earth has ever seen, the Kundalini Research Institute in the world. Today we are a very small group, but I know in my heart, and most of us do, in the next two decades, we will be the largest spiritual movement that has ever existed on the face of this earth. Kundalini Research Institute of Canada is affiliate of the Central Institute for Kundalini Research in Srinagar. So I'd like to give you a little history as how all this began. One day I was invited to come to India. And a gentleman who introduced me to this, who is today a president and a founder of Kundalini Research Foundation in the United States, Mr. Gene Kiefer who told me, when you go to India, why don't you make a little side trip and go to Kashmir and talk to a gentleman by the name of Pandit Gopakrishna. So I came to Srinagar, and out of the 15 minutes that Pandit had granted me, turned into an hour and a half, two hours, and finally three hours, one of the most loving, kind conversation the two of us had. Not only did Pandit Gopakrishna told me what I have seen when I died, but he also explained me the colors and the meaning of the light. It was this time that I recognized Pandit Gopakrishna belonging to a higher order of man that I have never met before in my entire life. Now, before I turn the microphone to the next speaker, I'd like to talk about something which is very dear in my heart. And most of you wondered, what is this here? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an award, and it's called Genie. Genie is obviously for short for a genius. This genie, an award given to those outstanding individuals who have been of great service to humanity, is presented to the pandit. The inscription bears these words. It is with honor and joy that people searching inside and the Kundalini Research Institute of Canada, on behalf of the people of Canada, present to you, Pandit Gopi Krishna, this genie award for your unparalleled contribution to mankind and your generous sharing of the gift of light with this and future generations. It is a matter of great happiness to me to extend a warm welcome to our friends in Canada who have undertaken a long and arduous journey to participate in the conference we are having here in Kashmir about Kundalini. I do not claim to be an enlightened individual. I do not claim to be a guru. I do not claim to be a teacher. I only say 
that through the grace of heaven, this poor, frail, and weak body was vouchsafed a sudden transformation which affixed an X-ray apparatus to my brain. And since then I have been able to see, able to hear, able to feel, and able to smell what is denied to the normal human vision and the human brain. And what has been revealed to me by grace without any effort or striving or even merit on my part is that the human brain has already reached a state of perfection where a higher state of consciousness can be manifested with certain disciplines and exercises and that the goal of human life is to reach this higher dimension of consciousness which is alluring, blissful and majestic beyond comparison. A man who has this vision, I can assure you, will not change his position for all the wealth of the earth and for all the seats of power in the greatest empire of the world. It is an amazing state of consciousness. This may occur to you as fantastic, as Copernicus' theory that the earth was revolving around the sun was unpalatable to the scholars of the time who were steeped in the geocentric theory of the universe. But in the course of these few centuries, this doctrine has changed not only the face of the earth, but also the life of man. In the same way, the theory of Kundalini, confirmation of the view that the human brain is already perfected and designed by nature for a higher performance, for a higher dimension of consciousness, will create revolutions in all the branches of human thought. There will be then no room for the imbalances, for the very unequal social and political orders, for wars, for bloody revolutions and riots in the world, for wars, revolutions and riots including the French and the Russian evolution, revolution are a part of the evolutionary process of our brain. 